Lazy Eye by Silver Sun Pickups. This video is for people and they have names, such as Severinate, Frank Lean, and Eric Eisenhart, and of course, insert your name here. But before anybody goes to the optometrist or the ophthalmologist, that's not the point of this segment. Anyways, what I really wanted to be was a lion tamer. I hope you don't mind if I take just a moment to thank the following people for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club. Jock Downey, G Squared, Gavin Guest, and Ashton Sawyer. Folks, thank you very, 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 very much for your support. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, will be in the description. I'm going to give you all the pieces, and then it'll be up to you and your earballs to figure out which one goes where when. Grab the A string 11th fret with your ring finger. You're going to strum only the E and the A strings 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times before you fall down to the 9th fret with your pointer finger, which is why we used your ring finger for the 11th fret, of course. One, two, three, before you execute a brown, which means you're going to barely hear the ninth fret and then immediately hammer on to that eleventh fret. This is the notion of a grace note, a note that barely happens. Brown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, brown. Then you can give it a bendy wiggle, a wiggle. There's so many fun official music terms in this song. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, brown. Wiggle. That is thing one. A variation on that that occurs is going to be the 11th fret just like normal. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, but then the A string is going to go nine, seven, nine, and then back up to eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can do that anytime it feels good. After a bunch of that action, we've got some power chords and they're very conveniently located. All you have to do is reach your pointer finger up to E9, your ring finger stays put, this is a C sharp power chord, and then down two frets to B. And you may be thinking, but Ryan, or Mom, whoever you're thinking about right now, that riff goes up, not down. Parts of that riff do go up, but not the power chords. Allow me to explain. The bass starts on C sharp, just like the guitar. But then as a single note, as the bass usually is, goes up two frets to D sharp. As the song progresses, there's even a little lead guitar part that does the same thing. That works because the bass and that lead guitar part starts on the root of the C sharp of the C sharp power chord, but then goes up to D sharp, which is the the major third of the B chord. The takeaway here is that the bass is playing pieces of the chords, not necessarily the root, and therefore can make the direction of the riff, so to speak, appear to go up. Cool. Ooh, now comes my favorite riff. We're gonna start with our eight strums on A11, just like normal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But then I'm gonna reach for D9 with my pointer finger. I'm not gonna strum the E string. In fact, I'm gonna mute it with my thumb and I wanna hear that open A string. The D string is gonna go nine, 11, nine as a slide slide before we return to the A string 11th fret. Now comes the noodly bits. We're gonna take this in small pieces. After we do our beginning, the eight strums on the A string 11th fret. We're moving up to D14. It's gonna be 14, 12, A14, and then the A string's going 12, 14, 12, 11. Now this next little bit is like a sandwich, and the A string 9th fret is the bread. You're gonna Put your piece of bread on your plate. And here's our lunch meat, our move. It's gonna be A9 to 11 hammer on, up to D9, and back to A11. So the move, the peanut butter and jelly, is 9, 11, 9, 11. Here we go. 
bread, move, move, bread, seven, six, two. And when you get to two, after you pluck that note, you turn it into an octave chord. So two B notes, A2 and G4. Do that whole thing so far. In truth, I got that one off of a live version that I really liked. It's very similar to the album version. In fact, it's all the same notes. He just kind of doubled up on one here and kind of did another one sooner there. You can use any of those notes on any rhythm in any order you like and make it yours. Then he gets a little angrier about it, a little more strummy. You're going to grab the A string 11th fret and add to that the G string 9th fret. Of course, we want to hear that open E string. You're going to mute your D string with your ring finger, kind of without trying. And it doesn't really matter if we hear the B and E strings or not. Those are perfectly fine notes to hear. And if you mute them, that's fine too. This thing. Then octave chord on A9, G11. And up two frets. That's the first one. The second one is a slight variation. It's going to be this thing. 9, 7, 11. So. For the angry section. There's a variation on that that happens. The second kind of octave E section, you're gonna recognize it. Grab the octaves on the A11, G13. Down two frets, back up, and give that octave chord a bendy wiggle, but you're pretty much gonna just be able to bendy wiggle the G string, and I would suggest adding your middle finger, you know, to the effort, so you can give it a bendier wiggle. 11. 11. The second time, very similar again. 9, 7, 11. And lastly, there's times when he's going banana nut cake, and what you're going to do when he does that, or when you're going banana nut cake, is grab the A string 11th fret, that's the theme of this song, right? And then D, G, B, 9 with your pointer finger, the open E string, and just wail away. <laughs> Now, if I were to put my pinky finger on the E string 12th fret, you would notice that if we had more fingers and we could put one on the E string 12th fret, we would have a G shape, right? So this is a G shaped E, which means if you want, you can put your pinky finger on the E string 12th fret for extra banana nut bread. <laughs> And the rest, of course, is up to you and your earballs, I believe, in all four of you. Just wanted to make sure we include everybody here. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I'll see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.